Thank you for joining me in Hodes Career Info, the program where career professionals from across the globe meet to empower you to succeed. This program is brought to you by Right Career Fit. Feeling stuck or uncertain in your career path? Have that very important conversation with a career professional. Book your appointment with any of the career professionals interviewed on this program or with me, Hoda, at rightcareerfit.com. We can't call it a job search anymore. It's really a career marketing campaign. Once you establish your value, that's when you become more worth in the, in the fields, and that's when you get more opportunities and conversations that come your way. We feel more empowered when we, when we, get, we self-educate and we just keep learning. We should be grateful for um, the opportunities we're allowed to reach these days. Thank you again for joining me in Season 2 of Hoda's Career Info, your career program where career professionals from across the globe share career tips and personal stories to help you successfully navigate your career. I am Hoda, your host. I look forward to another season of Career Chats with international career professionals who will inspire you to take your journey to the next level. Ready to meet this week's guest? My guest today is Tom Pounder, a career changer himself and a proof that it can be done. Tom resigned from a 25-year career in business development, operations, and sales leadership to create Career Thinker Inc. He is motivated by years of viewing thousands of poorly crafted resumes and interviewing more than 1,500 unprepared applicants. Tom's goal is to make a difference by providing people with career services, coaching, technology, inspiration, and confidence to motivate them to take action and advance their careers. He has a broad range of clients, but his sweet spot is preparing future executives. Tom's long-term vision for CareerThinker.com is to create a gateway for clients to find career services and choose a career professional from a best-matched list. One of the topics Tom talks about in today's episode is a piece of advice from his mom before she passed away that perhaps facilitated his resignation from a 25-year career. She said, I know you like your job, but you don't seem happy. Make sure you do something that makes you happy. Let's listen and together learn from Tom's expertise. Thank you, Thomas Tom Pounder, for joining me today in Hoda's Career Info. I really appreciate your time and you showing up to support uh, this program. Thanks, Hoda. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to just have a conversation with you. Uh, Tom, part of this program is turning personal definitions of key career terms. I usually challenge my guests to choose one term that reflects how they view their work and the services they provide. The idea is, of course, to support job seekers, career seekers in understanding these key terms that we use every day. Um, so what would be your career term and how would you define it? Not the dictionary definition, but Tom's right. definition. I think to sum everything up into one term, it would be career marketing campaign. And a lot has shifted over the past decade, 15 years, and we can't call it a job search anymore. It's really a career marketing campaign where you create career marketing tools like a resume, like a LinkedIn, like a um, cover letter, all to engage the reader to understand your value and in hope of getting that interview that turns into a, a paying job that you deserve. So that's kind of how I look at it. And when you put that different spin on it and you think it more of a, as a campaign, because any career, any marketing campaign needs to sell the value. Once you establish your value, that's when you become more worth in the in the fields, and that's when you get more opportunities and conversations that come your way. 
Thanks, Tom. Uh, Tom, do you mind sharing with the audience uh, a little bit of your personal story and perhaps embedded with it the message you would like to send by being here on this program? Yeah, well, my personal story is, um, you know, early on in, in, in my career, my career chose me. You know, I, I just fell into um, wholesale retail operations and management. I, I did very well. I worked for several different companies in um, operations, then it went into sales operations. And my last company before I started Career Thinker, I think I was there about 11 years. I was doing extremely well, making some really decent money. I loved the company, they loved me, but I was under a lot of stress. I mean, it was working 60, 70 hours. Um, it just that's what the industry and the job, I guess, um, pulled out of me. And um, I just um, wasn't happy. I mean, I was happy with the company, everything. I just wasn't happy. And then that year that I left that industry in my career um, and switched to different career is the year my mom passed away in my birthday. And um, I just and she did it on purpose. So I would never forget that day just the way she is. Um, and um, that just really hit me hard. And I remember before, the last time I spoke to her, she says, I know you like your job. But you don't seem happy. She said, make sure you do something that makes you happy. That stuck with me. After my mom passed away about four months later, my stepdad, who at that time was my dad, um, he passed away from a broken heart. He just decided not to take any medications anymore. And then he passed away. So Ooh, those things lit some really fire in me. And I just at that stage, a couple of weeks later after my stepdad, I um I gave my resignation um and I quit my job. They were surprised. I was surprised I did it. And then in my mind, the past few months before I did that, I was thinking about a business and the name wasn't career think at that time, but I, I figured I would I have a business where I could help people connect to the next opportunity because that part of what I've done in my career, I enjoy doing. Um, so a couple months later, came up the name Career Thinker, earned my certifications, got everything together, got my business plan together, and then that's where Career Thinker came about. So that's um, kind of how I made that shift. And why the shift to resume writing and now LinkedIn profile and all those career services? Because back in the 80s, when I had to get my first real job, I had a job through junior high, high school, and the first few years of college, I worked for the same company. That company got bought out and I, I kind of got kicked to the curb. I had no idea what to do. And I actually connected a career coach back then in the late 80s who helped me put, a, put together an amazing resume that got me my first real job, I call it. So I always remember that in my head. And um, I still have that first resume from, I think it was 80, 86, 87. And, um, that's, um, I just kind of went back and decided to do career think. And I think it's 11 years now. It's almost 12 years. And um, have a look back. I mean, it wasn't easy um, to make that career, career transition, but it's, it was worth it. Thank you for sharing your story, Tom, and how it, you took a risk really by designing from your job. But you felt you needed, I guess, to take that step. So sometimes, yes, changing careers requires us to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes life changing events make you, you know, push you towards it, you know, because it's been in my mind. I always want to do my own business. And I actually I had a few side businesses over the year, but they didn't seem to work out because I always had a partner. <laughs> and sometimes um, business partnerships take a, a, a lot of strength to work out. Um, so I tried to I did something on my own and and I had the support of my husband. If I didn't have the support of my husband to, you know, get me together and, you know, resign from good paying job and, you know, not make any income for first year. Um, I don't know where I would be either. So, you know, a lot has to go into that transition. A lot of people get impacted by it. Of course, and we always talk about that circle of support of people around you are willing to yes. support you when you take these decisions. Definitely. Tom, uh, when we uh, when we talk about our, the services that we provide as career professionals, you have a unique way of looking at it and you call it a partnership and a collaboration versus what people would think of it as a client or service provider relationship. Do you mind sharing with the audience your thoughts on this relationship? Well, in our industry, it's a relationship because, you know, you might help a client out, they find a new job, um, they might even get promoted, and then you don't hear from them for a couple more years. I try to stay in front of my clients, but you don't hear until they need us again. So I think the partnership is really important because you, you're going to be a partner for life. I mean, my first two clients, 
Um, so I work with them several times. So I think that partnership, so people trust you and they, and they, um, you know, they come back to you. And, and again, um, the partnership part really matters because it is an area of trust because people are telling you their career, they go digging deep into the problems they had in their careers and, you know, what they're not happy at, what they're happy at. So you need to build that trust in the partnership and the collaboration is because, um, you know, a lot of people assume they're going to connect with a resume writer and a LinkedIn profile writer, and they're going to purchase it. And, you know, some type of magical thing happens and they create a great resume in LinkedIn. We need that collaboration, especially in the beginning of the relationship. We need your information. We need to speak with you. We need to understand where you want to go, what don't, where you don't want to go just as important. So we need to have that collaboration to really make impactful um you know, career documents and they're really marketing documents. And so we want to have a really great marketing campaign. So we need to collaborate. We need to build that partnership. So it's not like you buy your services and you spend 10 minutes on and that's it. It's, 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 it's a real good partnership. That's the best way I could explain what I mean by that. No, oh, this is great. This is uh, awesome. Because this leads me to the next question in that if it's a partnership, if I am as a client, I'm going to be working with you. So you're going to get me to do some work. Why right. wouldn't I do this work on my own? Why would I as a client pay to have you uh, polish my personal brand or to create a resume for me? I love that question. And just FYI, I have a team of writers, like a six writers that had three recruiters in my team. So we get to see the whole process from both ends. I think why people um, need to pay, because it's just sometimes just hard to do by yourself. It's hard for people to speak about themselves. I mean, even from high level executives who've been very successful, when it comes down to writing a resume, um, sadly, most resumes that people do themselves that come across my eye, they are just kind of a list, I say an obituary list of past job functions. That's not, a, that's not what a resume is. That doesn't engage and excite a recruiter or hiring manager. We want to know what value you brought to each position, what problems you just saw. We want to know your impact. So it's so hard for people to speak about themselves. And even those that are really good at speaking about themselves, sometimes when they do the resume, it becomes so brigacious that it kind of has a negative impact. So we want to find that, that middle realm where um, people are excited to learn about what you did and they, and they did actually want to speak to you. So finding that, like, you know, I could change the oil in my car. I know I could do it, but it's going to take me way too long. Um, I have to try it a couple of times. So to save time and money, and you only want to do this first, and to get that partner um, that even helps you take a great resume and a great LinkedIn, and how do you use it in your job search or your career marketing campaign is where the extra source comes in. Thank you for taking on this question, Tom. Yes. I, I do have one more question for you, and that is really about professional development. We advise, uh, as a career professional, I always advise my clients to continually be, you know, learn new things, be involved in their um, career of choice. What are some of the things going through Tom's uh, mind today? What projects are you hoping to accomplish in the near future? Well, I, I've done a, a handful of educational programs where I'm teaching outward. I mean, I had the NCOP, NCOP program through the National Resume Writing Association. I've been teaching career professionals, um, college, um, people that work in co college career centers and government career centers. Um, and a lot of people, even on their own, are taking the NCOP course. I'm teaching a power LinkedIn. So it's a five-week course. I've been doing this since 2018. It's always evolving. The course is always changing because LinkedIn is always changing. So um, I'm very, very proud of that program. I've certified almost 300 people. So it's been a, a great experience for me. And anyone who's taken a course has come away with a lot of great value. So there's always that. Um, I'm doing some um, resume on um, LinkedIn and cover letter webinars coming up. I'm working with Ellen, Ellen Stevenson and a colleague of mine. So we're preparing those. Um, and I'm always, you know, taking on different educations through my industry. There's a lot of webinars, a lot of seminars, a lot of certification programs, like the certified disk analysis. Um, I do disk assessments for clients. So um, I took that certification. So I'm always trying to add to my own sort of my own education. It's the biggest challenge. I started career thinking in the last recession. The biggest challenge, a lot of um, people going out there and looking for the new opportunity 
they were at one or two companies for the full career and they were so outskilled, so many people outskilled, even to today, um, com- people that worked at one or two companies, they kind of stuck in those type of companies and, you know, technology skills just, you know, change every three to four years. So they were so outskilled. So we should always be looking at what's relevant as far as the skill set, whether it's the technology skill or business skill. And it, it, we have the power to do it. Today, there's so many different programs online that there's no excuse. A lot of them are free, some of them are low cost, and some of them, of course, are pretty penny, but they're all worth you know, just to improve your ability to connect new opportunities. And we feel more empowered when we when we get we self-educate and we just keep learning. So that's I'm taking both parts of it. I'm learning myself all the time and I'm trying to share some of the knowledge and expertise I've learned over the years. I like that you mentioned the idea of empowerment by learning, because that's one of the messages I'd like to share all the time is that yeah. you are empowering yourself. Uh, these were all the questions I have for you today, Tom. Was there anything else, one more message or one more thing you hoped I would ask you about that I didn't that you'd like to add? Um, well, I, I like, yeah. I think I think the generation today, I'm not talking about age, but just a generation today in, 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 a, in a workforce have no idea how much power of, controlling the careers that they have. I mean, LinkedIn was never around. Back in the 80s and 90s, when we were sending out resume and cover letter, the reason it's called a cover letter because you wrote a letter, you covered your resume with it, and you mailed it out. Um, you know, we could apply to any job in the world if it's posted online. We, it's just amazing how many um, different tools and technologies that we could reach a bigger, um, a bigger spectrum of opportunities get those conversations, network with people in different countries. We just never had this ability. And if we wanted to take advantage of that, it was extremely difficult. So I think we need to embrace the technology. I know a lot of social media platforms get that negative um, connotation attached to it, but there's just so many ways we use technology, whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's other types of social media platforms to reach people, start those conversations, let those opportunities happen. It's just, I, I'm just blown away by it. And that's what I teach in ENCOBE. It is just amazing. Um, the reach we have, I just, it's, we should be super excited about it. And a lot of people just don't want to spend the time learning it. So once you do, again, that empowerment, once you understand how to connect with people, how to start those conversations, how to share your information, how to, you know, create a great resume in LinkedIn, it just makes everything much easier. So that's the last message I just wanted to share. We should be grateful for um, the opportunities we're allowed to reach these days. Well, thank you so much, Tom, for being on Hoda's Gideon Info. I appreciate your time and your support of this program. Okay. All right. I know I speak fast, so hopefully <laughs> um, I'm a fast speaker from New York, so hopefully um, people can understand me. <laughs> I can understand you just fine, so thanks a lot, Tom. Okay. All right. Very good. Thanks for having me. You've been listening to Hoda's Career Info, the program where career professionals from across the globe join me to empower you to succeed. Thank you for joining me and Tom Powder in this episode of Hoda's Career Info 2022. I hope the career tips shared by Tom help you ensure that you are doing something that makes you happy. You can connect with Tom Powder on LinkedIn. Please remember that you can listen to Hoda's Career Info since it's also dropped as a podcast. To let me know if you are interested in an opportunity to talk about your work, you can send me a direct message on my website, writecareerfit.com, where you can also sign up for my newsletter to stay up to date on the latest episodes. Remember to like, subscribe, share, and follow me on social media for more career info. I am your host, Hoda. Until next time, stay inspired and keep moving in productive ways.